hello everyone thank you for stopping by my channel today i'm coming to you with another quick video um if it's your first time thank you for stopping by if it's not thank you for coming back um i'm coming to you today with um how i do my candy wrappers um for par for a party favor weddings or whatever any occasion so if there's something you would like to see stay tuned and sit with me for a little bit while I finish up one of my orders. So here we go. First, you're going to need, you're going to have to print out your template, your um, candy wrapper. And this is mine. And this is a five and a half by five and a half. And then you just go on your um, software, whatever software you're using, print out your, um, you know, graph out your, graph out your work and print it out. Okay. Then you're going to need your wrapping paper. You could, I use, I got this from the dollar store. It's on a roll. You could use that. I also got my tissue paper from the dollar store and it's metallic metallic I'm sorry tissue paper you also could find the squares already cut out for you on Amazon um, the metallic paper if you want to and they come in um, gold also if you want to use the gold okay you could use tape or you could use a glue gun you're gonna need scissors you're gonna need a measuring tape to cut out your measurement measurement for your wrapper. And this right here is a seven high and five and a half width, okay? And you also need your candy bar. I use the Hershey candy bars. I buy them by the case at Sam's Club for $25 for a 36 count, okay? So let's get started. So first, what I do, I get my Two pieces of tape and I tape these down right here I hope I'm in the camera and I just tape them down okay that's all I did was tape them down I'm not using this one right now but I probably will because I got 15 of them to do but um let me just move this out my way I'm gonna use this one for right now and it's thicker than the tissue paper. This is thicker than the tissue paper. And it's a nice print, if you can see that. Okay. And this right here, like I said, is the height is seven inches and the width is five and a half. And I just put it on like this. I take it across and I take it across. Okay, my cutting is not as even, but it's okay. And I just use tape on this part. I put one on the, close to that edge, one in the center, and one on this edge, okay? Then I take it, see that? And I just fold it over, like pinch it like, and fold it over like that, like so. See that? And then I just take it, once I pinched it over, and I pull it up. And you could cut off the little... a little too much paper just cut it off ain't no biggie then I take my tape and I take it right across you can add another one if you like just to secure it so I like using the tape on this part steady the glue but still you got your wrapper still on here even if you use the glue it's not going to get into your candy but I like still like using the um <clears throat> Excuse me. 
the tape on this part. Okay. Like I said, just pinch it, bring it over, pinch it, bring it over. You might know another way to do it, but this is the way I do it. Then I just bring it up. And you can also have your tape already cut for you, but it's okay. And it's done. And I wrapped my Hershey candy bar. Now, what you're going to do is get your wrapper. Always use this on the back part. So this would be like, this would be my front where I didn't tape when you put it on, when you put it on here. Okay. Then you just line this up. Then I lay it down and I bring this part up like this. You can put a little tape on it just to hold it, but make sure it's on. Then I bring this part around. Make sure it's, make sure it's even going across here. And going across here. Remember, this is the back. This is my back, okay? And this is my front, okay? Then I get my glue gun because I want to really secure it. And I get my glue gun. You don't have to use a lot. And the paper I use is the glossy paper. I got that off of Amazon also. And it's shiny. You can use cop, um, copy paper also. And that's how you do the candy wrapper. I just don't like using the tape on the outside. I just think it looks tacky. So I just use glue to glue this part down, okay? And she is, uh, and it says, Happy Heavenly Birthday, my love. Gone, but never forgotten. And inside the hearts, I just added mom, aunt, um, grandmother, gone, but never forgotten. Miss you, love you. Inside each of my hearts, if you could see that. And that's it. And this is an order that I have to do. And let me show you the water bottle and the chip bag. And this is the water bottle. And this is the chip bag. So the same thing that's on there. This one says, your love will always live in us. And we and we will always celebrate your life. And she um, was a cancer. She had cancer. She passed from that. And may she rest in peace. So the only thing I got to do is put my ruffles around here and here. And this order is complete. So thank you for stopping by and checking out my candy wrapper um, DIY. And if this is something you would like to do, try it. It's very easy and simple. Remember to subscribe, like, hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I come on. And everyone have a great day. And check out my other videos. I do have on there how I did the water bottle and the uh, chips. So thank you. Everyone have a blessed day.